Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your August 2022 reading. We have an incredible message for you. I'm being guided by Archangel Michael to tell you that abundance is flowing in for the zodiac sign of Cancer. So we're going to take a look at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Cancer. Don't worry about Venus. It is at the end of the reading. So if Cancer is your Venus sign, we'll have something there for you. And we're going to look at your energy. We're going to look at um, the challenges, the defeats, and anything else that can come through in this reading. I will relate it to you. But I strongly am picking up that there is action going to be taken. Now, I feel for a lot of you, this is action you're taking at the end of the month as you move into the beginning of August and this action is going to actually produce abundance for you. So let's start off with you. This is the Eight of Cups. Walking away from emotional baggage, emotional attachments that have left you feeling um, that lack, feeling that abundance, which coordinates with the cups, is not coming in for you. Some of you, it's walking away from a person. Others, it could be walking away from a job. But whatever you're doing, whatever you're leaving, you were invested in it. You were emotionally attached. And now you're going to get your next big outcome, which is leading you toward that abundance. We have the five of wands, and this is inner conflict. This is feeling restricted when it comes to making this decision. A little bit of quarreling in family matters for some of you. I do feel it's family matters. It can be in any area of your life. But one thing's for certain, this is inner self-sabotage energy that you want to get rid of. You want to let go of that. So by the second week, you're going to be challenged to really take a look at your inner thoughts by the second week of August. That first week is huge. This is a big moment for you to walk towards the unknown areas of life. Walk toward whatever the universe has planned for you. But the conflict may arise in that second week. We have the world card, which means you are getting ready to start a new chapter. Now, some of you are already feeling it and you have been feeling it probably for two to three months, maybe four or five months for a group of you. This new something, something new, something that you can feel the emotions, the cups, that's an abundance is getting ready to come in. Starting a brand new chapter and leaving behind anything that did not make you feel complete is where you're getting ready to go by that third week. This is an opportunity coming in for some of you, and we're gonna look closer at career, okay, and, and relationships, but this is something amazing for you where you're, you're literally gonna start, uh, wipe the slate clean and start new, start fresh. Now we have the five of pentacles, and that's lack. So we have two fives on the board, and that is saying change is getting ready to happen, and that's exactly what I'm feeling for you guys, where this change is going to be very, very significant for you. It is going to move you into a new level of life. Now let's keep going with more detail. So I hope you guys are doing well. That eight of cups is a kind of, a, it can be a heavy energy, but when you walk away, it really lightens things up. We have the two of cups, the strength card, the Empress, and the Ten of Swords. So the Two of Cups is creating a beautiful partnership. You're leaving one situation, one job, one person to create a brand new partnership. For a lot of you, when I'm talking about you directly as an individual person, this is aligning your own inner divine feminine and divine masculine, the way you think, the way you feel, and you're coming to a place of discernment, and that's what's making you walk away. So it's beautiful, beautiful energy. The strength card is what's going to help you move into this new endeavor that's creating a little bit of conflict. Remember, in that second week, if you're feeling challenged by whatever this move is that you're doing, that could be an actual physical relocation, where once you get there, you're a little bit apprehensive, did I do the right thing? Whatever it is, if you followed your gut, you are going in the right direction. Why? Because the third week you're going to see, oh my gosh, this is really real. This is a new chapter. This is a new experience. This is a new opportunity with the Empress that's going to complete your circle around you. 
That means you are going to have all of the nutrients that you need for your mind, for your body, and your soul. This is a beautiful energy to be in. That third week, right around the moon phase, <coughs> excuse me, cycle that's coming in that time frame in August, you are going to feel very, very vibrant. You're going to look good. You're going to have this grounded energy around you saying, yes, I've got this. I've got this. So taking action is a big part of these changes. Now we have the Ten of Swords. And remember, the Ten of Swords changes. It rolls into the Ace of Swords. So the four, fourth week of the month, the last week of the month, you might be feeling a little bit lack of, of attention or affection. For a lot of you, it's going to be a financial situation where you might feel like you were stabbed in the back a little bit. Like maybe you made a wrong choice and that's stemming from the second week. So it's very, very important for you to pay attention to your thought process and make sure that your actions, your words, your thinking, everything about you is in alignment to stay grounded in this beautiful Empress energy. Now, when it comes to a career, I feel some of you have a new opportunity and it is in a totally different direction. It's something different than you've done and it is going to challenge you. It is going to make you think, am I really able to do this? And the answer is yes, you're starting something amazing. And as long as you focus and you keep that courage and strength up and that positive feeling up, the new pairing, the new partnership, with an organization is going to be great. For some of you, it will be in a government capacity. I feel it's more like a county or a city, a smaller entity underneath a big one, you know, underneath that big um, umbrella. Now, this may be a large corporation that you're working for. One thing about this corporation is it's different. The dynamics and the energy vibration that comes through in this new organization is going to help you thrive. However, you're going to be triggered by that fourth week. You will be triggered to say, did I make the right decision all over again? So these two weeks are going to be a bit of a challenge and we're going to look at the challenges as we go forward. But one thing's for sure, you've got a brand new endeavor coming. So you're creating the life that you want where abundance is getting ready to come in. Contracts will be signed very, very soon. You may get this job offer the third week of the month for some of you. And remember, it is starting in a completely different direction. So it could be a promotion that puts you in a lead capacity now. You were, um, oh, um, I want to say a regular worker. You were a worker bee and now you're moving into a management piece of opportunity. For others of you, it's in a whole different career, a whole different direction. And for some of you, I feel it's in the direction of IT, um, internet IT work, where you are going to be challenged on everything that you may have just recently learned. And again, that feeling of, oh my goodness, it's overwhelming. Is this going to be a repeat? The answer is going to be yes or no. It's up to you in how you feel. The money that you put out for the certification may actually make you, you know, that's what's going to challenge you is like, was it worth it? The answer is going to be yes for you guys if you followed your gut. So let's take a look at whatever challenges could come along the way. Now, for some of you, when it comes to family life, I feel that you have a situation coming in where somebody did you wrong in the past, okay? This may be a parent, this may be a sibling, um, anybody that you consider family that you do have love for. Leaving this individual, walking away from them, whether it's in the beginning of this month or if it was five months ago, and for some of you it could have been five years ago because five is a very important number for the zodiac sign of cancer. Five is about change. And these changes turn into something positive if we allow the flow to come in and abundance is flowing in for you in the month of August. So whatever the situation was, I feel that um, you may have been stabbed in the back by this individual and they are coming in and we're going to look at more detail to see what this whole thing is about. 
with this family or friend uh, that we're talking about. Remember, we're doing romance at the end of the reading, so I'll touch base on that there. This empress is saying that whoever you're dealing with, if this is a person, it may be a Virgo, it may be a Taurus, you may be involved with a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces. For some of you, I feel you actually have Libra around you and Scorpio is highlighted in the energy that's coming through. This person is not the same person that they were. The changes that they went through after you left them made them realize something that they never saw before. So the courage and strength for those of you who left between five months ago and five up to five years ago, you've created a moment for that particular individual to dive into their own self-reflection and pay attention to what they said or did, what happened between the two of you. Because I feel that that was a very painful situation for them, but it didn't come in until after you left where they recognized it. Now, it is going to take a lot of courage for both sides to come in and fix this situation because of the Ten of Swords. But the good thing is, this is getting ready to turn into a one. So whether you choose to actually reconcile with them, and I do feel a lot of you will. Remember, this is a family member, somebody you love, a child, a parent, a grandparent. It's somebody that you actually consider family. And there is a great deal of emotional attachment to them. So walking away from them is a very challenging situation. However, there is something inside of you that said, if you do this, it's going to change and it's getting ready to. So the beginning phase is in the month of August and it will lead into September all the way through the end of the year for some of you. And let's go ahead and look at some of the challenges that may happen along the way. We have the five of cups. Now there's the other five. Remember, fives are very, very important for the zodiac sign of cancer in the month of August. Change is coming. Abundance is going to flow in. And we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Three of Swords. So it kind of feels like that last week is going to be filled with a lot of memories of what happened in the past that left you in this Five of Cups energy. Now, when it comes to a job situation, I feel you're walking away from a job and there may be some guilt attached to it walking away from a career. Maybe this is a career that you invested a lot of money in an education and you felt like it just didn't. It never met, uh, it never fulfilled you. It never gave you what you thought it would give you cancer. But with this five of cups, the, the challenge is to overcome any guilt. There is no remorse. Remember, you're making a change that's in your benefit. And as long as we don't hurt anybody along the way, intentionally hurt somebody along the way, it will work in our, in our favor. So you're going to see that in the second week. Whatever the situation is, the Ten of Cups is the, it's abundance. You've got abundance flowing in combined with prosperity. So this is love. This is um, anything on the material plane. This is a beautiful energy to be in to start a brand new path, a brand new career, a brand new relationship, or even a reconciling with somebody that you do have love for. Now, the challenge is going to be making sure that you stay in that beautiful, open-hearted energy. Remember, the cups are about our feelings that it's attached to our solar plexus and our heart chakra. So make sure that you cleanse, do an inner cleansing and I'm talking about your inner core your authentic self remove any of these ten of swords that may be there remove the three of swords that may be stuck inside because this is going to bring security by that third week this new change this new direction this new path filled with abundance is also filled with prosperity that security having the finances to feel safe again in your world in the world you've created around you this is a beautiful moment for a new grounding in a family type of an environment where it becomes reconnected for those of you that have been distant from that individual. The challenge is going to be staying grounded while you're 
mustering up that strength and courage to move forward in whatever this endeavor is because it's almost it's not quite taking a leap of faith you're very well aware of what's going on around you you're going to consciously make this effort and take the action but that action is going to produce something beautiful as long as you can let go of the negativity so August is going to be a month filled with challenges it is it's going to be filled with blessings and challenges both if you overcome the challenge the blessing comes flowing in this three of swords is a heavy heavy energy where you may feel like uh, walking away from a situation although it's the right thing for you to do it still has a lingering bit of pain so particularly those of you where you were dealing with a family member and that's what i'm saying this is that moment for you and that family member to begin to want to see if you want to move forward and i feel it very strongly when it's connected to family to the happy home happy life you have just a little bit left to do a little bit of healing left to go i have my 30-day uh, plan let's get you in there and get you back on track because this is the ultimate goal right here and you have this amazing opportunity virgo represents the sign uh, Virgo represents August moving into September all right so it's a beautiful energy and you do have those challenges but let's go even further when I'm done with this we're going to look at how to move you beyond wherever you are and then we'll look at love okay so I hope you guys are doing well <clears throat> please thumbs up this video let me know that you like it don't worry you'll be seeing my face again this is the method that i'd like to use to bring you these monthlies um, because they are very very detailed and i want to make sure we get the focus on what needs to be seen in these readings there's the ace of swords right here the detail the fine detail this is what you want you want the new beginning based on truth based on clarity you want contract signed you want to make sure that everything is done in the right way for you and the cards are saying, my guides are saying, this is getting ready to happen for those of you. Five is all around you. Here is a five of swords. You have five from each suit. Okay, you have the five of cups, five of pentacles. You have the five of, well, you don't have the five of wands. You have the five of cups. So the bottom line is five is a very important number. Five again is a big change coming in the five of swords is a lot of anger hostility one upmanship when somebody like i said may have done you wrong now it doesn't even have to be your actual family this could be your work environment that this took place in we have a work family that we work with as well so the relationships around you are getting ready to change and that change is going to make you feel absolutely incredible we have the seven of swords and that's that somebody doing something dirty behind the background and that's what's going to be the big part of you to release all right whether this is a person whether this was in a work environment it's making sure that you pull the lessons with this seven of swords grab the swords the lessons the swords represent lessons in life grab those swords and move forward leave behind what you don't need because you want to overcome this and there we go the eight of wands so we have this amazing energy the eight of wands is here saying there's going to be back and forth communication this is an experience that is going to have to have you write out your feelings write out your expressions for some of you this has to do with writing in some level now i feel it's more writing blogs not necessarily books but i feel it's blogs and short uh, uh movie scripts like maybe a short story movie scripts is what i see here when it comes to career as far as writing goes this is a lot to deal with and again i said you have the positive and you have the negative and you're going to be filled your your whole august is going to be kind of up and down but it is going to change 
it is going to turn in your favor and abundance is going to start flowing in for you. So let's pull a beyond card for those of you, you may have already experienced this and you may be in a totally different direction. Let's see what the cards have to say. This is my Oracle deck for ascending beyond where we are today. Now we have the card of Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. They may be a very important part of your life. The earth energy around you might be a little bit low vibration because you're making a change. And when we make this change, it can create a low vibration. And that's what I'm talking about, remembering the past situations. We want to move through this really amazing door right here. This is a door that is an illusional door, but yet it's a door to a new pathway. This is a new opening, a new beginning, and that's exactly what we're talking about. And the challenge to get to this green light go is moving past the low vibration. So if you're trying to make an extension or make a change in your current business, in your current job, in your finances, in your romance, whatever aspect of life you've been working on, you want to take those low vibrations and turn them into a high vibration. Remembering to actually bring the lessons that are of value with you that will help you release that a cord cutting ceremony, which I have on my website, that will help you tremendously because this is very, very positive and it is ending that way. So we have all of the numbers in sequence, five, six, seven, and eight are on the board. This is your moment to make a huge change that's going to allow abundance to flow in. So please, um, we're going to look at love right now. Please thumbs up this video. If you like my style, I'll continue to do this for the monthlies. And right now we're going to take a look at love. So whether you're in a relationship, which we'll look at first, or you are single, we're going to take a look at that. We have the card of wedding. Now wedding is about a commitment. This situation that you're in, no matter what, no matter what end you're on, calls for a high degree of inner confidence and inner faith. When we get attached to somebody, it means that we believe we're investing or everything that we invest is worth it. So the low vibration we want to pull out of that, particularly if you have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn attached to you in any way, pull out of that low vibration when it comes to a romantic situation. There has been challenges in this relationship. For those of you who are in a relationship, you've already been dealing with the challenges, particularly those 10 years and more. That's what I'm feeling. And we all kind of know that a relationship of 10 years can be very challenging because both people make changes. Both people grow. One grows this way and one can grow this way. But it's coming back around. It's remembering why you fell in love with that person in the first place. And reevaluating everything, looking at all of the challenges and struggles you've been through to determine, is this person actually, am I still in love with this person? Is this still the one that makes me feel like I can be myself? comfortable in who I am and validated in who you are as a person. So really look deep because this is a very high level card. When we're talking about a committed relationship, it may, you have to make sure that it resonates with you. So when it comes to singles, oh my goodness, you have a person coming in. Now, I do feel that they may have that earth energy in them, not necessarily that they are one of those three zodiac signs, but they definitely do. They could be a Libra on the cusp of Virgo and so on and so forth. But whoever this person is, they have security around them. They're going to make you feel secure in yourself. But there's an insecurity as we move into the second, as we get challenged the second and the fourth week, where you might be wondering if this person actually likes you, if this person is really the one you want to invest your time in. And the cards and my uh, guides are saying, yes, follow your gut, because this may be the one particular relationship that moves into a higher level where you become attached as a partner. The Two of Cups is a union between two people who are on the same page. 
a soul connection. And soul connections can be all about life lessons. You bet they sure can. But once we get through the life lessons, that's when the soul connection, whether we reunite with them or we're blessed with somebody brand new, that's the one that we want to be involved with the rest of our life, where we're on the same page. There, The differences are minor, where we can just flow with abundance. Abundance is love, love of your job, love of the person you're with, and maintaining self-love. So this may be a very beautiful relationship for you guys. So Cancers, I hope you enjoy this. Have an amazing August. Thank you for watching. Much love.